Who's feeling the heat today? I definitely am. Can you believe it? It's almost like it's summer already. So who's ready for some more heat? Because I'm going to bring it. Today we're going to do a, a little spin on a traditional snack. Because now with Mr. Rob's party in the pantry, we're going to be working with tofu. It's tofu time in the pantry. So let's start now. So you've heard of chicken tenders, right? We're going to be making tofu tenders. And kids, I will explain to you what tofu is, but when you taste this, it's just going to be delicious. So for this oven baked treat, I'm going to first turn the oven on at 350 degrees. And we're going to start this the traditional way if you're familiar with making chicken tenders. What I got here is some seasoned flour, just to add a little bit of um, oomph and flavor to it because tofu is known for being flavorless. So whatever it tastes is what you add to it, just like life itself. So a thin layer of flour, then I'm going to dip it into a bowl of uh, beaded egg yolks. This is two eggs that I cracked. And then I'm going to put it into a bowl of Pot & Co. breadcrumbs that are seasoned also. So for the breadcrumbs, I'm going to put on a layer and I season this with many things. First I'm going to get off the excess breadcrumbs and I'm going to put this onto a cooking sheet because I'm going to put this into the oven. Now I had this um, same recipe before from a family member. Um, it's pan fried, so you can do the same thing on the frying pan as well, but um, I thought it'd be more practical doing a cooking show for kids while filming live on camera <laughs> to just do an easy bake. So I'm going to do this again. And the breadcrumbs, you can get them at any grocery store. I flavored them with many things. I flavored them with the Himalayan sea salt that I introduced to you guys earlier. Um, fresh ground black pepper, onion powder, some Parmesan cheese, and some paprika, Herb de Provence, and some garlic powder. And I add a little bit of that mixture to the flour as well. Because what I learned, it's easy to make a nice bread texture, but that bread texture still needs some flavor. And now I know why most recipes for fried chicken <laughs> require the um, boost of 17 seasonings or less. But I tried these and, the, and they worked out. And even with the egg yolk, I added a little touch of sriracha sauce. And also today, I am going to make a nice dipping sauce for these tofu tenders. My own little recipe, so we'll see how those will turn out as well. And for those that aren't completely familiar, tofu is um, a wonderful meat alternative derived from plants. The soybean. And it's credible in stores and restaurants and schools as well. So I thought I'd give this a try. And for the record, when I was three or four, I didn't know what tofu was either. They didn't have those back in my time. So let me try to give what I, what I didn't have as a kid. Do you like chicken tenders, kids? Hopefully you'll like this as well. And for the record, I did wash my hands before this activity. And I'm gonna to need to wash these again because they're looking quite crummy. So luckily I had <laughs> a bowl of water prepared. You can't see it and you won't see it. This is the secrets of working on camera. So luckily the oven is set for 350 degrees. I'm gonna put these into the oven. So 
So the best sidekick for any tender, which I always say the tofu tenders, is a nice dipping sauce. So let's start that now. What I got here is a jar of homemade yogurt that I made. You've seen it and used in other recipes before. So let's see, I'll put two heaving teaspoons of that. What I got here is some ranch dressing powder mix. Say that 10 times fast. And you can make your own mixture at home. And if you have your own recipe for dipping sauce, feel free to mention in the comments. I'd like to try them myself because Mr. Rob is always willing to learn as well. I'll add some soy sauce. Because grown-ups still need to learn too. You are never too old to learn. And I think it's fun to learn. Got some sriracha sauce. And don't worry, it won't be too hot or spicy because the homemade yogurt will neutral it out. Next, I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar. Adds a nice tangy taste. And as you see here, kids, I got some mustard. And I'll add some Parmesan, why not? Get a nice cheesy taste. So I'm going to stir this mixture together. I think this is a great meal or a little snack to eat during the summertime. Especially eating outside. So while those are cooking in the oven, let me explain to you where tofu comes from. So, tofu comes from a plant called the soybean. The tofu beans come from these little pods. And what you do traditionally to start the process, you put them in a bowl of water to soak. And after an amount of time, you start to smash that mixture. Then we'll all move over here. Here's a little table or conveyor belt, whatever you want to call it. This is where you would roll it out and from the mashed soybeans, you would get soy milk. So the soy milk that you see in stores, that's what you get. And as you know now, you can get milk from many other things. There's almond milk, cashew, cashew milk, rice milk. So just more alternatives to teach you. So that's rolled out. And what you have left is the soy milk in the curdles. So what you do is you drain that out. And with the remaining curdles, what you do is keep on pressing it um, into a shape, almost like you would jello. So from there, you get your tofu block. And I bought this tofu block at a store. You can find them in the, the health refrigerated section. And with this tofu block, I was able to cut this into about six or eight thin pieces. The thinner, the better. And this was um, the extra firm version of tofu, and those come in different levels as well. Oh, you know what? There's actually one ingredient I thought I'd add to our little dipping sauce too. I forgot to look over. I'm just gonna add a little hint of lemon because I like things to be a little sweet and tangy. And here's a nice little lemon squeezer. You can get those at grocery stores as well. Add a little touch of that. And boom, this is the dipping sauce that I made. And feel free to ask me in the comments what I did. I will be very happy to share. So, I have a batch that was already cooked from the oven. I will scoop them onto a plate. Don't worry, Mr. Rob isn't hiding. He's just getting his food. And here are my tofu tenders. Look at that. It's almost like a chicken tender. So let's get the full result.
Thumbs up for me. You know, I should have taken a smaller bite. I always forget to do that when I'm on camera. Because now I gotta keep chewing. Well, thank you for joining me on this hot spring day. It was a pleasure to have you with me here in the pantry, especially during this fun time I call tofu time. So enjoy the rest of your day. This is Mr. Rob. Thank you.